as Laura said, I am Sherry Samuels. Um, I am a life coach and we are going to be talking about our inner critic today and what it looks like to reframe how we think so that we can address the inner critic and help allow that to help us show up better personally and professionally. Um, so the things that we're going to talk about, the importance of feelings, uh, what and who is the inner critic, understanding the impact of negative self-talk, making room for self-compassion, and managing the inner critic's impact. I want you guys to feel free to put questions in the chat. Laura will let me know if there's something there or just, you know, I want you to feel free to share because I want this to feel like a conversation as we're moving through. But before we get started, because it doesn't feel fair for us to talk about feelings and negative self-talk and all of that stuff, if you guys don't know a few personal things about me. So I um, had long hair for the first 34 years of my life, and I have had short hair, even shorter than this, um, for the last 12. And when I decided that it was time for me to cut my hair, it was really one of the best decisions that I ever made for myself. Um, I became more confident um, because I realized that I was hiding behind my hair and allowing myself permission to just be seen was a really beautiful thing. And several months later, I became the owner of a rainbow colored tutu that I still have. Um, it doesn't quite fit the same, but I do still have it. Uh, some children that I used to work with, um, they decided that I needed a tutu. And so one of the moms was like, you know what, I'm going to make it for you. And so she made the tutu for me and I used to wear it to events that we had. And it was really a lovely, lovely thing. Um, and now, as it says in my bio, I, my niece lives with us. She is four years old. And as a result, I have become a part-time princess. So coaching by day, part-time princess on evening in evenings and weekends. Um, it's pretty exciting. She's obsessed with princesses. Um, and so, and she likes for me to be the princess with her. And if I put on lipstick, then she's just like, oh, Auntie Sherry princess. And so it's very cute and it makes me feel lovely as well. Um, I am almost six feet tall and there is not an athletic bone in my body. Um, I tried to play basketball in elementary school. I tried volleyball in middle school, nothing in high school. Um, but if there was a gold medal that could be won for talking about or dealing with your feelings, I would get that. That would be my sport. So um, as we move forward, as I mentioned, we are going to be talking about um, our the inner critic negative self-talk and our feelings. And so I want to start by asking a couple of poll questions. Um, the first one is, how comfortable are you discussing your emotions? Um, and the second one is, how often do you check in with your emotions throughout the day? I think it's always important to tap into and or check in with what we were feeling and how we were feeling whenever I start any session. It can be uncomfortable, but it's really important to ask ourselves these questions and check in to our feelings. And we'll talk more about why in just a moment. So yes, how comfortable are you discussing your emotions? Is it uh, you carry a feelings wheel with you wherever you go, you pull it out of your purse, your wallet, your pocket, um, you're not going to run from it, but you would prefer maybe not to talk about them. Or maybe uh, if somebody makes you that you'll do it, or you're just going to remain silent. Anything that you say <laughs> will not be held against you. Um, and then the other question is, how often do you check in with your emotions throughout the day? And probably most of us don't. We don't take the time to check in with our emotions. So it can feel like, a like oh, what does that even look like to check in with my emotions? Maybe sometimes, maybe not at all, but there are things happening. We're feeling things all the time. Um, and so go ahead and you can answer the questions um, and then we'll keep it moving. Uh, oh, I like that, Laura but prefer the happy emotions to discuss rather than the sad. That is probably most of us, that we prefer the happy emotions to the sad ones. Yes. So, and you can also feel free to put in the chat how you feel about your feelings if you don't want to respond to the poll. Either way works. But we, what? so you may be asking, why do we start with our feelings? Well, it's important to start with the feelings when we're talking about the inner critic or negative and or negative self-talk. 
um, because our inner critic has a significant impact on how we are feeling emotionally. It impacts our emotional space. Um, and we'll we'll go into that a little deeper in a little bit, but it's really important to understand what our feelings are and how they play with that um, a negative self-talk space and in, in our in that inner critic. And when we connect to the depth of our emotions, it keeps us grounded and living in our truth. When we are experiencing challenging situations, when we're grounded, when we are feeling, you know what, this is happening, it doesn't feel good, but I'm still here, I'm still gonna show up. That is what really matters. And so that's why it's also important to, to talk, to start with a conversation about our feelings. And our feelings carry information that help us understand how to identify the sound of our inner critic. So often we, uh, we all have that inner critic, but it's just, it's playing and we're not paying attention to it. And that's when it can get louder and louder and be more um, invasive when we're not paying attention to it. And again, we're gonna talk more about that. 